Welcome back everyone to Dice Station Zebra. I'm Jocelyn. And I'm Rob. And we are here playing some Dice Masters once again. Once again. Because it's Wednesday. Yep. And we built some teams. Um, so I built mine out of the Avengers Infinity campaign box from, I don't remember when it came out, 2018? I think it was 2018. I think it was. Yeah. It's a, a set that was no, a really... No, 2019. Was it too, oh, I think it was older than that. But anyway. End of 2018. Fall of 2018. Maybe. Anyway, we're in the weeds already. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so anyway, I built out of this campaign box. It was the first campaign box that came out, not including the turtles. Right. Right? So it was kind of the relaunch of the campaign box or the, the starting of the campaign box model. Um, it's a very introductory set. Sure. I would call it an introduction to Dice Masters. There are not a lot of powerful cards in this set. There's a couple, but for the most part, they're mm -hmm. they're kind of um, entry level. They're good for learning. Yep. Uh, it's an easy way to get into it. So I said, let's pull out some cards and build a team, and I found a build a team. Okay, and along with the campaign box, there was two team packs. Yes. There was the Cree Invasion. Yes. The other one was Justice Like Lightning, yes. which contained characters from the Thunderbolts team. Yeah. And I built exclusively exclusively from the Justice Like Lightning set. Yeah. So I have an entirely Thunderbolts team, which includes flip cards. And that's it. We're ready to go, aren't we? Yeah. And just if you are looking to purchase some of this stuff, it is available. Um, still out there on the interwebs, or at least the time of recording, you can find it mm -hmm. at game stores. Uh, and the Thunderbolts team pack, or sorry, the Justice Like Lightning and the Kree Invasion both have some really good cards in them as well. Absolutely. So... Some key competitive cards. So today we are going to toast. Oh, okay. Cheers. Cheers. We have some like mason jars here with some kind of a drink in it. Some kind of a drink. It is a beer called uh, Farmstead Ale. I can't remember the name of the brewery. It's a local craft brewery. Okay. That I picked up at my local store. It's very yummy. So let's roll sidekicks to see who goes first. So I got one. I have no. Yeah, I have one, but I have three question marks. Okay, so you win the roll. Okay. Um, well, I am going to elect to go first. Okay. And what I didn't tell Rob is this: this beer is a six point two percent, which is one of the reasons we're sharing it. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay. I actually forgot until after I poured it. So. All right. So you know what I'm going to do here? I got a nice roll. Mm -hmm. I'm going to feel that sidekick. You brought a Thor Global, which I is did. pay a bolt, reduce the cost of the next action die you purchase by one, by yep, two. By two. So I'm going to use this question mark to activate that, okay. which reduces your big entrance to one, your big entrance action die. Yep. I'm going to purchase that, and that says it can go right in the bag when you purchase it. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Pass turn to you. Okay. All right, I have four with a shield, which means I can buy Captain America. There you go. Pass priority. And big entrance allows me to purchase characters for one less. And they gain impulse, which means you can put them directly in your bag should you so That's desire. Right. And look at that. Big entrance plus three sidekicks. Couldn't have asked for better. Look at that. It didn't even roll. Couldn't ask for anything more. True. Copyright infringement. YouTube's going to take us down. <laughs> At least I sang it. I didn't like play a clip. Yeah. Are you trying to tell me that I sound like a professional Broadway singer? Um. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what am I going to do with that now? If I bought squad goals, it's not going to do me much. No. But it will. It will allow me to purchase um, multiple dice if I want, right? Yeah. As many as many. You Let's want. keep the fist. Let's re-roll these guys. Okay. I can live with that. Um, That's good, because you have to. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to activate big entrance. Okay. Which means everything I purchase now goes into my bag. If you want it to. Yeah, if I want it to. I'm going to pay a bolt to buy one songbird mm -hmm. into the bag. And then Ant-Man is three, which means now he's reduced to two. Yep. I have two energies with a fist. I will buy Ant-Man into the bag. Okay. And I will pass turn to you. All right. I have four sidekicks. Okay. How do I feel about this? Not horribly. 
This is actually quite nice. So I think what we're going to do here is we're going to keep this roll. Yeah. We're going to field the sidekick. Um, how do I want to do this? I think I want to do it this way. So I'm going to Atlas first. Yep. Rob brought the Atlas Global, which says pay a fist and prep a die from your bag yep. once per turn. It's a very popular card. You'll see it on a lot of maybe competitive teams just for the Global. Yep. And um, now I'm going to spend two to buy a Black Widow. Mm hmm and I'm going to pass priority and end my turn. Okay. Okay, I got three in the bag. Reload the bag. One more. There we go. Got an Ant-Man and a Songbird. Okay, I got a heavy-duty Ant-Man right off the top. Well, that's no good. Then you can't amplify him. That's true, but I don't even have any action dice yet. Uh, so... You have, a block, you have a big entrance. Yeah. That's an action die. All right, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to spend the bolts to put the level three Ant-Man in. I'm going to fill those two sidekicks. Wow. I'm going to pass priority. Pass back. And I think I'm going to take a swing here. Oops, really? That's a level three. He's a five attack, two defense, and then two psychics. Five. Yep. On the plus side, if you block it, well, you get some ramp. Or if you block anything, you'll get ramp. I'm gonna do something crazy. How crazy? I'm gonna elect not to block. Any of it? Nope. Okay. Seven points. Will that strategy pay off for Jocelyn? Keep watching. Find out. She's on 13, I'm on 20. First blood. All right, first seven bloods. Come on, Captain America. First blood times seven. Okay. We like the sidekick. We like the fist. We like most of this. Um, but we're gonna do release. <coughs> okay. Come on, Captain America. Nope, Captain America failed me. That's my first whiff. Two. All right, so we'll field the sidekick. Um, we're going to spend four, including shields, to buy another Captain America. And then we're gonna Atlas Global. Okay. My bag is empty, which allows me to refill. And that, there, is my turn. All right. All right, let's see what comes out of the bag. I don't have a lot of faith that I'm gonna win this game, but I knew that going in. Oh, four sidekicks, are you ready for this turn? This is going to be, like, devastating. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Oh, are you doing, are you doing the R ready for this song? Okay. Okay. <laughs> TJ would be so proud of me. That's right. Hi, TJ. TJ. I hope you're watching. Let us know if you appreciated that. Let us know if you did appreciate that. <laughs> he knows that he appreciated that, because that's the only acceptable answer. True. I will re-roll this sidekick. And I got exactly what I wanted. You got a question mark. That can be anything you want. It can. Except a sidekick. Okay, so what we're going to do um, is we're going to think about this a little more. <laughs> <laughs> but you got exactly what you wanted. You should know what you want. I know. Okay, so uh, let's talk about globals. You've yes. got a mask down there. You've got a fist. Mm -hmm. you got a bolt. i got two bolts. I only have a fist. Um, and you got a bolt over there. Okay, so if I use your Thor Global, basically, um, I'm not going to get... You know what? I've got a big entrance coming, so why would I spend... I'm going to hold off. Okay. I'm going to hold off. Just the past turn there? No. I'm going to buy something. I'm just... Uh, you like buying the dice. I do. I do, definitely. I'm going to buy Meteorite. Let's get that train going. All right. Meteorite for four. With a bolt, I'm going to pass priority and end my turn. All right. I'm going to pull four dice from my bag. Me Meteorite is a flip card. While Meteorite is active, other than at the beginning of your turn, when a character card of one of your active characters flips, flip this card. So she will... 
that card will flip when another card. So these cards over here on the right side of my map, I have four flip cards. They only flip when they're triggered to. I cannot elect to flip those. That's right. So when one of those other three flip, um, Meteorite will flip. And it does uh, crazy things when she flips, which we will discuss if it happens. I see you have a Captain America you're fielding. Yeah. So um, basically, my Black Widow whiffed again, so my whiff counter is now at four. Okay. Uh, because Captain America didn't roll the first time and Black Widow didn't roll the first time. Uh, then I purchased another Black Widow. Yeah. I feel the Captain America, and now I'm going to Atlas. So you whiffed on your Black Widow four times already? No. Twice on Black Widow and twice on Captain America. Oh, I see. You're just counting all your whiffs? I'm counting all my whiffs now. Every time you do not roll a character face. Yeah. Last time I played um, this Black Widow, I whiffed it eight times. Mm. But now I'm going to whiff. I'm, I'm going to count it as a whiff. <laughs> If I do not get the die that I'm looking for, Jocelyn's tracking weird metrics, but that's okay. Well, it's just like You're our allowed. friends over at the Ministry of Dice do. Yeah. Chris and Andy like to count their whiffs, and I am going to count my whiffs today. All right, cool. So they do it on in their chat, and they have a, a bot that does it, and you mm. put exclamation point whiff in the chat, and it counts your whiffs for you. I'm just doing it on this fancy dancy Ministry of Dice um, mm -hmm. counter thing that I got in a prize pack. So I'm at four so far. Folks, if you haven't checked them out, go check out the Ministry of Dice yeah. podcast, website, BritRoller6. Dot com. Uh, Twitch. No, Twitch? Yeah, yeah well, Twitch, Twitch YouTube. Is mod, Twitch is mod extra. Okay. But anyway, they're awesome and we love them. Yep. Okay. Hey, guys. Uh, pass priority. Pass back. And turn. Okay. Are you jealous that, that I love them? No. I'm quite fond of them myself. <laughs> <laughs> We're very fond of you, yeah. gentlemen. <laughs> Look, I got a big entrance. And a lot of sidekicks. Don't worry, Chris and Andy's wives. I'm speaking <laughs> for. <laughs> okay, so look at that. I got a big entrance. Fantastic. Um, let. What am I going to buy with that now? Um, why don't I get. Why don't I get a. I'm going to activate that. And I'm going to put, um, you know what, I'm going to put, I'm going to purchase Mach 1, okay. put it right into the bag, and I'm going to pass priority and enter. Okay. So, I need four in my bag, plus the yep. Captain America that whiffed the first time, and the Black Widow that whiffed the first time, so let's see what happens. Oh no, this is the second Black Widow, she hasn't whiffed yet. Okay, there's a Black Widow. Level 2. We got another Captain America, but I really don't necessarily need him. I got the sidekick. So I'm going to re-roll Captain America and the shield. Mm -hmm. Hoping for energies. Okay. So I'm going to feel the sidekick. Now, I have a conundrum here. <laughs> okay. Because Black Widow says, when fielded, you may KO target psychic character die. Yes. So I could KO your psychic character die. You could. And have an empty field in front of me. Yeah. Or I could field one of, KO one of mine, and then Captain America says, I get to prep a die from my bag. Which means you would have, have two in your prep area. That's right. Roll six dice next turn. Um, now, Captain America says, if the die prep is not a sidekick die, he gets plus one A and plus one B. Mm. So he could be extra buffy. Yeah. Like the Vampire Slayer. Right. Citizen B Vampire or Slayer. Or buffy from Family Affair. Um, so then I could get some damage to run you if I KO'd your sidekick. Mm -hmm. Because I'm on 13 and you're on 20. But I just re-rolled my Captain America because I'm dumb mm. and didn't think this fully through. I wouldn't say you're dumb. You just didn't think it through. I just didn't think it through. <laughs> so I I'm think defending you. I'm the only one that's defending you here. Well, you know, I'm very hard you on know? myself. You know, that's uh, got to got to say something. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Enough silliness. Let's play the play the turn. <laughs> Why? Um, okay. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend. Ooh, how am I going to do this? It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Why? I wanted to buy a Black Widow and then Atlas, and I can't do it. Okay, so we're going to field this Black Widow. Okay. 
Field it. Gonna, see if I care. Field we're it. gonna, and that's a level two actually. All right. And we're gonna KO this psychic guy. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pre actually hang on. I'm gonna back this up and do it in a different order. Oh, you're doing that confusy thing where you're like pulling back your turns and no. flipping things around. I'm gonna buy the Black Widow. All right. Then I'm gonna field I support that this decision. Black Widow. Yep. KO this psychic guy. Okay. And then that allows me to prep from Captain America. Right. It is a psychic die, so he does not get buffed. Okay, so then I am going to pass priority to you. I'm gonna pass back. Okay, and then I'm gonna attack Ooh. with the Black Widow. Is that a fact? It is, she's a two-two. All right, two-two-two. I'm gonna block with one sidekick. Okay. Which will be KO'd. Yeah. Yeah, she's wearing a two-two, she's, she's in the ballet. I, I just see Black Widow like a laser as a um, Is that not part of Black Widow's origin? You're asking me? Was she not in like some kind of uh, ballet school? I'm shrugging. You isn't, can't see this on isn't, camera. Like, wasn't that the cover of the, like, the spy school she was in? Some spy thing? Absolutely, um, which is why I said it. Yeah, I knew it. At least that might have been her origin in, in one kind of iteration, but... I might have that completely wrong. Has Scarlett so. Johansson been in a, a ballet movie? I feel like she has. Oh, I don't know. I should know the answer. Are we lost in the weeds? Yeah, you're the ballet uh, movie aficionado. Center stage forever. <laughs> if there's any fr if any fans of uh, Center Stage, the movie out there, please let us know in the comments below. Jocelyn would like to have a people, discussion. People that watch Dice Masters are like, Center Stage, <laughs> what are you talking about? I've never heard of this before. Ballet Black Widow. All right, so I have a, I have some decisions to make. But first, um, I'm going to keep those question marks. I'm going to re-roll these two in the hopes that maybe I get a sidekick, and I don't. Google says, people ask, was Black Widow a ballerina? Black Widow was a ballerina. Aha! This is something the filmmakers pulled directly from the comics, as Natasha was originally a ballerina for the Russian Bolshoi. There you go. She then ended up marrying a Soviet agent named Alexei Shost Shostakov. It's always a guy named Alexei, isn't it? Alexei. It's always. But after she believed he died, she dedicated herself to becoming a, a spy. Yeah. So there you go. So she was a ballerina, and that's why she's wearing a tutu. If if I died, would you dedicate yourself to becoming a spy? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, cool. Long, as long as, you know, I can sleep better at night knowing that. As long as I can look as good as Scarlett Johansson does. Sure. I'll have to work out that, that. Maybe I can get her, her uh, trainer to help me out. Yeah. I'm sure that uh, her trainer's for hire. Well, yeah. After you die, I'll have all the money from your <laughs> life insurance. So. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I better cancel that life insurance <laughs> account on second thought. I'm going to field my songbird. It's a level two. It's zero to field. And then I'm going to pay the Thor Global. Okay. Um, I'm going to spend two to buy squad goals because, you know, squad goals. And then I'm, squad goals. I'm going to use the Atlas Global to prep one of these lovely dice. And which one will it be? It is an Ant Man. So. That is my turn. Okay. I'm not going to attack. I'm going to pass priority because, well, because you have a mask. Um, which... I'm going to make this sidekick an <laughs> Avenger. He's an Avenger. And uh, I'm going to end my turn. Okay. Look. Four dice. Okay. How many Black Widow wisps will be this time? There's two Black, Black Widows in my hand. At least one. Okay. There's one. Yeah, but does that count as a whiff, or is it only at the end of the roll, roll and re-roll? I count it every time it doesn't roll. Mm, okay. I got lots of fists here. Um, I think it should, a whiff should activate, like energize activates, <laughs> only at the end of your roll and re-roll. Or any time you roll a die on the double energy face. That's not a whiff. All right, but I've been counting the other ones as a whiff. Yeah, so you have to be saying? consistent. No, you have to be consistent. Okay, so it's a one. Whatever you, however you want to do it, you're the one keeping track of that metric. Okay. Well, the good news is they both rolled on level two. Mm-hmm. Well, good news, it is, it <laughs> is good news for you. It is not good news for me. me. Um, however, unfortunately, what is not good news is these energy types. Right. So I will field the psychic. Mm-hmm. 
And then I will field this Black Widow, KOing mm -hmm. this sidekick, which allows me to prep a die from my bag. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, oops, I'm throwing sidekicks from Captain America. That's a sidekick, so he doesn't get buffed. Then I will field this Black Widow, KOing this sidekick. Yep. Allowing you to prep from Captain America. That is a Captain America die, so he gets plus one A, plus one B. Okay. Okay. So, then, with these energies, I'm going to do a thing. Purchase an action die. It's going to have to be, because I'm out of Black Widows. Yeah. Um, so, I think what I'm going to do is purchase... I guess the only thing I can put, well, I'm not going to, don't need big entrance. I'm going to buy ray shields. Okay. And I'll pass priority to you. Pass back. Okay. And then? Yeah, the big swing. Yeehaw. So six, five. Yeah. And three, two, twos. Well, I'm going to block, see, three, two, twos. Yeah. Three ballerinas. That's what I said. Um, I'm going to block the Captain America, which is going to KO my songbird, and okay. six points comes through, six right? Six points comes through. I'm on 14. Look at that. Hashtag still winning. Okay, I'm going to pull three dice. I'm going to reload my bag. And I'm going to pull out a squad goals. Watch this. No, sidekick. Squad goals. No, wait, no, that's, that's big, big entrance. entrance. It was an action die, though. Yeah, close. All right, look at that. That's a meteorite. Ooh, and she's big to field. Ouchie. Yeah. That's the problem with this set. Some of these dice have very expensive fielding costs. When I was building my Avengers team, I eliminated a lot of cards because it was three to field them on level three. Hmm. And there's really not a lot of ways to eliminate... Well, my Avengers ID card makes cards cost less to field. But, well, look, you gave me two energy. That was sweet. Yeah, it's very nice of me. Uh, so these are going to field for free. And now I have to make a decision. I have three energies and those two... Um, are Tears. both the same. So... Which one is better for you? Well, um, I if I put Mach 1 in and he flips, then Meteorite will not flip. And the only way I can flip this card, I believe, is when he's no longer active. So... Um, so I'm not going to field Mach 1. No, that wouldn't make sense. Confusing. Yeah, I know. I'm going to instead pay the two to field Meteorite. She's okay. a level three. Mm -hmm. And then I have a mask left over, which basically can do nothing. I can make one of my people an Avenger. You absolutely can. That's not going to help. So I will instead just pass priority and end my turn. Well, I mean, Ant-Man should be an Avenger in my mind. Actually, he, he has already. Oh, does he? Yeah, he's, a, oh, okay. he's double affiliation. He's Thunderbolts and Avengers. Well, I mean, you know, Songbird's not a villain right now, so maybe she could be an Avenger. Yep. Okay. She could. I'll I save have... it. I'll use. I'll spend it on your turn just to be strategic. Okay. I have a sidekick in my bag. Plus one, two, three. Three sidekicks and a Black Widow. All right. Look at all those dice. That's my favorite part. <laughs> when we play Hero Clicks, I only ever get to roll two dice at a time. True. Okay, there is Captain America. There is Black Widow. We like those. We're going to keep both of those. Uh, those shields would be excellent for fielding Captain America. Um, and that would allow me to Atlas if I wanted to, which I may or may not want to. So questions are good. I'm going to keep the bolt. I'm going to reroll the mask. On Psychic. Nope, it's a shield. Okay, so we will field Black Widow. We will KO this sidekick, mm -hmm. which allows me to prep a die for my bag. And it is not a sidekick die. So Captain America gets wow. plus one A, plus one D, and I probably should have fielded this one first. Oh, because he won't get the buff. That's right. So he gets the buff. He doesn't, because I did it wrong. All right. All right. Now, next thing's next. Uh, I'm out of sidekicks. So let's go ahead and spend three on an Arnim Zola. Yep. And then I'm going to use the Atlas Global. And then I will pass priority. Pass back. You don't want to make somebody an Avenger? You wait till the, the attack window? I'll pay to make Meteorite an Avenger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> she now has villain thunderbolts and avenger there's nothing else you can do with it no i know um okay he's a six five so i'm gonna attack with him You're oh attacking i'm gonna attack that. with black widow too oh really yeah she's a two one mm. she's not a two she's not wearing her two two right no. now she's just wearing a two one okay well let's block and block okay so this lives yeah and this dies yeah okay and okay that's my turn Okay, come on, good dice. Good dice. No sidekicks. Look at that. Excellent. No whammies, no whammies. Exactly what I wanted. Okay, there is a songbird. I'm going to keep what one of those. What song does the songbird sing? Um, well, it depends, really. What kind of songbird do you think she is? Is she like a robin or a cardinal? or? Well, she's pink. Um, I don't know any pink birds. Parrot? I don't know. There's your pink parrots? Yeah, there's there's like pinky birds out there. Like tropical ones. Okay, sidekick fields for free. I have five energies here. I'm going to spend a shield to field a level three songbird. Oh, a flamingo. But a flamingo is not a songbird. A flaming O. No, it's not. An, I don't even know if they have a... Do they even make a noise, or do they just kind of honk or something? I don't know. There's a pink robin. Yeah. And there's a cockatoo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I got four energies. Okay. What am I going to do with those four energies? Advise me. Um, well, I think what you're going to do, because you have a question oh. mark, is you're going to buy a Mach 1. That's exactly what I was going to do. I know. Oh, but I have a Mach 1 already in my use pile. But is it bad to have two Mach 1s? I don't think so. Um, they do a tune. A tune happens per die. Yeah. That is true, isn't it? Buy Mach 1. Buy Mach 1. Um, Buy Mach or one. I could do a... <laughs> That's another copyright infringement. <laughs> it's not a copyright infringement if I'm singing. We're, we're getting uh, kicked off YouTube. Um... All right, so I got four energies. I could do a... Um, Listen, this is your channel. I could do a an Atlas Global, and I could purchase maybe a Techno. I could purchase... That's not the Techno, is it? No, it's a different one. Um, the Techno is the one with the Global that says pay a bolt and turn all your sidekicks to bolts. No, that's not the one. Uh, so, I have a Mach 1. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do something a little different, I guess. Then I'm going to spend um, one fist to do the Atlas Global. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we have a sidekick on deck. That's exactly what I wanted. And then I'm gonna purchase Techno. Techno. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's gonna be my turn. Talk about copyright infringement. End turn. <laughs> A beat is not really a copyright infringement. I think some people would argue with you. Yeah. Probably people that, what, was it the Beastie Boys? What about them? Wasn't it them that sampled all the music? Oh, yeah, that album, Paul's Boutique? Yeah. You could not make that album today. No. When they did that album, somehow they got away with sampling so many cool tracks. And, uh, like, if they were to do that today, they would have to pay so much money that they would not, for, like, you know, for the sampling, I guess, uh, yeah. rights, that they would not be able to do it. So that's a very unique album. That's what you're talking about, right? That is exactly what yeah. I'm talking about. Sidekicks, sidekicks, please they, roll, sidekicks. Because they even sampled the, Be yes. the Beatles on that album. Really? They sampled... Uh, and Michael Jackson didn't take them to court. That's right, because he, he owned pretty the much the, the majority of the catalog, yeah. Because they sampled the little breakdown part of... The end from Abbey Road. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, so. Um, Music in, trivia. In other news. Yeah. We're going to field news. two sidekicks. Meanwhile, back at Dice Masters. Back in Dice Masters. <laughs> okay, so we are going to. Oh no, to... Ray Shields went well, double burst. Yeah. I'm so dead. You just won. I don't know if I won or not. Okay. Hang on. So. You didn't win. I don't think so. I am going to spend these this fist. Yeah. To field this level three Black Widow. Okay. KOing this sidekick. Aha. Uh -huh. Which allows me to prep a die from Captain America. It is a sidekick, so I don't get a buff. Okay. 
Then I will pay this fist to feel this level three Black Widow, KOing this sidekick. Sure, you want to kill mine? Nope. Okay. Because I want to prep. And that gives my Captain America's plus one A and plus one D. Okay, so they're both a six. This step six six, six and six six five. Okay. And they're over crushing. And well, they one they will be. Potentially. Um, and then. Once you buff them to seven with that die. I will pass priority. Pass back. And I have not done the math. Yeah. But we're going to swing. Yeah. So three, 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 six, five, six, six. Yeah. Brutal. Well, I mean, it only makes sense to block this, to block that, and I'll block one of your widows. Okay. So these are both six attack. Yes. And you have a raise shields, right? Yeah, so raise shields is going to give two target character dice, plus one A and plus one D, and then also it's on a burst phase, so they're going to get overcrush. Yeah. So if I did it here, they would be seven yeah. overcrushing. So that would be three. That would be four. Yeah. And then that's not enough. Um. So that'll be three coming through. Oh, but then I have a bolt. Right, that'll be three coming through. Yeah. That'll so make it 10. Huh? So this is, um, these are gonna be seven A when you put that ray shields into play, yeah. right? Which means three will get through and four will get through. That's seven total. Yeah. This one's unblocked. Yeah. For three, that's gonna be 10 points of damage. Yeah. Plus you have a buff. Which will give me 11. 11. Which is not enough. Right. Yeah. But it's pretty good. Which means I probably should have KO'd your sidekick instead of prepping a die. True. That was your fatal mistake. It was my fatal mistake. Well, we okay. don't know if it's fatal yet. It's fatal. Okay, so I'm going to put the ray shields here. Okay. And then I'm going to put the buff here. So that puts me to three. And then I'm going to Atlas Global. And all my people are KO'd. And mine are not. Well, this one goes through. Yep. And those stay in the field. And these stay in the field. So all at right. least it wasn't the Jocelyn patented yeah. die move, because that's the good one that I do. Where it I is. don't have anything left, so at least that happened. Okay, there's three. But I was trying for the buff, so the buff worked. Yeah. And there's one. Okay. Well, if I get squad goals, it's not going to be very spectacular. You missed one. That question mark. Oh, did I not roll that? No. Good eye. There we go. Well, I gotta, I gotta watch because sometimes gotta you watch. cheat. <laughs> sometimes I do. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I do too. It's usually not on purpose. <laughs> no, that's not on purpose. Okay. Usually. There's that. Let's keep the squad goals. And how about we roll these because you know what? We need some blockers or mm -hmm. else we're we gonna die. Yeah, we're gonna die. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's game, right? Well, I mean, realistic. I don't know. It's game. They're not over crushing now. No, but you have three versus my two. That's true. On your next turn, you would win. That is true. Yeah. I mean, technically, I should have won on my last turn because you're right. I should have killed yeah. your sidekick instead of mine, but. So basically, there's no point playing the rest of this. I'm gonna see the game. All right, do you need a little table to flip over? Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna flip this card table and. Uh... No. Anyway, good game. Thanks good for playing. Good game. Thank you for playing. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get my team off the ground, but maybe we can have a rematch on uh, a, on another game. Absolutely. Okay. Well, um, my team any thoughts? Went, well, my team went better than I expected. Mm -hmm. um, I always am cautious about this whole ramp thing. Yeah. You know, it's one thing that I don't really do very well, and I've been trying in the last couple of games I've done to really focus on that, which is the purpose of Captain America. Black Widow and Arnim Zola in this team because I didn't get to field him, but he does the same thing. KO target sidekick die, and then if you do, Arnim Zola gets plus one A and plus one D. Right. Um, so I kind of built some ramp into it because I find that the more dice you roll, the quicker you go through your bag and you churn it and all that sort of stuff. That makes a difference, and that seems to be making a difference in the tide of my game. Yeah. So. I gotta say, my team is too slow. Um, I couldn't get it off the ground, but that's okay. You know, sometimes it just doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, try again someday. Yeah, but we should try it again. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, viewers, let us know what you thought about the, the game. Um, Provided we're not banned from YouTube for our copyright infringement. That's right. And uh, let us know what you thought in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the like button, please. That'd be awesome. And uh, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a game. You know what else would be really awesome? What's that? If people left us a comment. Yeah, we'd like to see some comments. Yeah, we get comments from time to time, but we'd love to hear what you think about um, our game because most of our comments come on our Heroflix videos. Yeah. There's a, there's a larger Hero Clicks community, I think. That's probably why. Probably. But I would love to hear from our friends but in Dice Masters. We do get some good Dice Masters comments occasionally. There is a group in Texas that, um, that plays, mm -hmm. and uh, the one person from that group uh, reaches out every once in a while in the comments. Yeah. And it's always fun to hear from them because they have some wild, you know, uh, games yeah. where they... They play like mass dice masters where like you're playing against everybody. It's so weird. It's it's different. But yeah. hey, if it works for them and it's fun, yeah. I think it's cool. So please, you know, let us know what you thought. Yeah. Let us know and Did you know that Black Widow was a ballerina? Yeah. Did you know? <laughs> anyway. The more you know. The more you know. So thanks for watching and we will uh, we will be back with another game at some point. Yeah, and don't forget to check us out on Facebook at Dice Station Zebra and on Twitter at DS underscore Zebra. Those are all the right places. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye for now.